just want to show you now how you can do some of the um use some of the fantastic software that you get built in with your Mycroft Studio and I'm going to show you how to do this using the Delicious Digis USB. So we've got Delicious Digis which is the first one and there will also be Delicious Digis Volume 2 by the time you see this. So what I want to show you is what you can do is you can click on your link and you will get one of your folders so let's just find one that we want let's see if I can find a nice corner file here let me show you a couple of little tricks right so if you want things to be facing the opposite way it's really easy to do so this is this little girl and she's currently facing towards the left if I right click on there and flip I can flip her so that she is now facing the right instead of the left we can resize her and we can um, copy and paste. So we've got two. We can flip her back to where she was. And now we can, we've can. we got two little girls. And we could add a sentiment in the middle. Let's see if we can find a nice simple... Uh, let's have a look. What have we got? Just trying to find... Uh, a nice little one. There we are, where are we? Little princess, we can put that in the middle. So that's a bit big at the moment. We can make that a little bit smaller. Pop that in the middle. We can bring her in. We can bring that one in. There we go. And once we've done that, we can select all. And you can see it's selected everything. We can then group. And we can then make it as big or as small as we want before we print it out. What I can even do is I can rotate it round to 90 degrees and then I can do it um, so it comes out landscape. So look how big that is. Absolutely perfect if you want to practice your colouring or create um, colouring books. So that's one just thing, flipping your images. Another one, what else can we do? So let's see what we can do. I was looking for a corner, wasn't I, when I got a bit distracted. So we can come all the way down here, see if we can find a corner image in here, or are they in the florals? Where are we? Right, I think let's go into the florals and I'll find a better corner so I can show you what I was going to do in here. So we're just literally going through all of these images and seeing what we can do. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. We can pop that on. So we can let's do it this way we can um, highlight it copy and paste so you can see there's two because it's gone darker we can then take the second one and flip it and then line them up so that they uh, line up together there we go so now we can select everything on the page and group and we can copy that again and paste this time this time we're going to flip it the other way, we're going to flip it vertically and that then, look, if you can see, we can then make a, let's see if I can line that up a little bit better, there we go, so I can select all and group and I've now got a perfect frame which I can then, if I want to make it perfectly square, now down here, you can see just down at the bottom here, we've got our measurements, so I can then pop that down so I can make it square that's probably about as square as it's going to get there we go perfect square and then I can make it bigger as a square or smaller as a square so I could put one of my sentiments in there or I could put another flower in there so let's get rid of that one and let's see what else we can do um, so I know it's a good one tiling let's see how about a page full of puppies so we can drop that back down, make that nice and small and pop that up in the top corner. Then I can click on tile and can you see it's gone blue? We can now make our own backgrounds. How about that? There we go, I can just position that. Now it'll print whatever's in the grid. So I often recommend that you go a little bit beyond the grid 
because it'll only print obviously up to your A4 but at least you know then you're going to get page to edge to edge colouring. So if I then go to one of my papers, now the one I want, I'm going to look on this screen because I'll be able to see it better. I know which one I want if I come to here. If I go, no, oh I might have some, no, let's go to my Petals of Porcelain, that's the one I wanted. I can find it on this side, now I know which one I'm looking for. Petals of Porcelain, we can come down to here, all the way down. Petals of Porcelain into here. And I know it's in that folder here. And I want printable cardstock. This is gonna give me some lovely colors, so I can drag that in now. This is going to, would hide everything that's behind it because this is solid and this is your image as if it's drawn on acetate. So what I can do is I can right click and click on order. So the what it's gonna do this to the one that's highlighted. At the moment it's this orangey brown one that's, in, that's highlighted and I can send it to the back. Can you see now? So that's now at the back with the dogs which it's just like it's on, um, on um, acetate which is clear to the front so then once you're happy with it you can select all and group and then you've got it as a printable sheet of A4 lovely background with your dogs on but you could do that with anything that you wanted to so let's just get rid of that let's put on um, let's put on this nice pink I want to show you something so once you go into here you've got files you've got brushes because this is going to let you do all sorts of different bits now layers we've only got the one file on here so there's only one shown once we put more I'll show you when you have more effects so we can go into hue and hue is then going to let us change the color of that I think this there you go 359 hues on here and you'll be able to change every anything you want to individually through those colours but you can also go opacity so if I don't want it to be as strong I just want it to be a background colour can you see how straight away it's dropping out so if I go back to my files now let's go back to my delicious digits because this works so well and we could go to our florals again and I've got a nice frame so I can drop that frame onto here there we go and make that bigger so what we can also do is we could add some text onto here so we can then go into our text button and we can click on add text there we go and now we can put so if i want to put i can pick whatever it will you pick up all the fonts you've got on your computer so if i come to ink free and then i click back into here oh add my text again my text box sorry it disappeared there we go Come on, I can then, let's do this first. So if I write, happy birthday, new line, Emma, just for somebody's birthday. So that's a bit big at the moment, so we can make it smaller. Now I can highlight that text and I can center it. Then I'm going to change my, my fonts again. Let's see, I like that ink free one way to go on there, ink free and we can then make it bold so it fits in there we go now we can make this oops center it so that we, where we like it we can make it bigger if we wanted to let's just stretch it a bit more because and center it again so that we really fill that up but there you go so i've put some really simple text on but you actually have a freehand text button on there so can you see we've used one of our papers from one of our other usbs we've used a digi image that we've resized and then we've put our own text on so we can now oh let me show you this in layers so you can see now if we look on it layers we've got one layer for the um happy birthday oh that was because i clicked on um, text twice so I've got rid of that there's the frame and there's the backing paper so you can see all the layers and then if you just want to work with one layer you just unselect all the rest and then it'll only let you work with the one so if we come back to select all go back to files and group that will now act as a single um, layer and we could print that out 
ready to go. So I hope that helps. A few more bits and pieces and I'll show you some more bits another time. But there's um, the next layer in our Minecraft studio.